Hi, I'm Cindy. And I'm Dave. We're glad you're here. Thanks for checking out Kotaku Bonsai. Hey guys, hope you're having a great day. Oh, it's just gorgeous today. And so I couldn't help but get myself set up to do some videos outside here. And uh, I've got a bunch that I want to get done today. But we're going to start with one really cool thing that I picked up just this morning. Check this out. I went to Lowe's to get some various stuff. And I found this Shishigashira for 100 bucks, And it's beautiful. And it's almost a, a bonsai in and of itself. So I couldn't help myself. I just could not pass it up. And so I brought it home and I have a special pot that we're gonna get this in today. I'm not gonna do a whole lot of styling on this. I'm just gonna transfer it out of this pot and into a proper bonsai pot because later in the fall, once the foliage has dropped off and the trees go in dormant, a lot of these branches I can take for hardwood cuttings. So I can take this tree that was $100 and turn it into maybe five or six trees and have a beautiful bonsai at the end of it. So hang around with me. We're gonna just do a little potting up and uh, take from there. Here it is a little closer up. I mean, it's just gorgeous. There was tape here and here holding up the stake and it started to bite into the bark. So over the next couple years, hopefully that will smooth over and we won't see that. I'll remove that piece and show you the structure as we get it into a nice pot. And here's the pot that I'm going to use today. Cindy got this for me for Christmas, actually. And it is a beautiful, beautiful clay pot from Weigerts down in Florida. Um, this is a fairly expensive pot. And there's the mark at the bottom. But I think it's going to be a very nice complement to the Shishigashira. So let me show you what I've got so far. It's got lots of good roots. There are some here that are larger roots. I'm gonna clip those individually. But working down through the root ball, it's very vigorous. I think I'm gonna basically cut the root ball in about half in order to comfortably fit down in that pot there. So what I'm gonna do is just some fine tuning to get rid of those large ones, uh, reduce the size of the root ball, and get it in a pot. So I've got the tree wired into the pot. This, I believe, will be the front for now. I really like it. I'll give you a little spin. Oh, it's a beautiful little tree. And there are other possibilities as far as front, back. There's options here. But so far, I like this one the best. And perhaps if I had a new leader come out about here, then the, it would curve back on itself. That would be kind of nice. But I count one, two, three, four, five, six or more, maybe, maybe even a dozen cuttings I could take from this and propagate which by the way later in the fall of this year i'll be doing propagation videos on japanese maples and how you can reliably achieve about a 60 to 75 percent success rate every year so now i'm going to go fill this uh, in with the rest of the medium put it on the shelf <laughs> 